our MVPs, whatever you are, I hope you are finding. I'm um, Mr. Marvin Kalemela, social studies teacher. And today I'm going to teach you social studies under the three, specifically to the part of principles of patriotism in the society. Principles of patriotism in the society. I hope you have seen the word patriotism in civic and moral education. But we are going to explain it again, patriotism, what it means patriotism. Patriotism is the quality of being patriotic to one's country. This includes loving and protecting your country more than any other country. So hope that every one of you loves his or her country. Is our country Tanzania everybody like? Or it. So we have to love it much and protect it by following different principles. So here we check first what patriotism, as I have said, that it is, this is the quality, the quality of being patriotic to one is country. So this means that if you are a patriotic person, you will love your country and protect it or defend it. That's how we say in the patriotism there is also a patriot. So a patriot is a person who loves his or her country and defend it and this one is ready to die defending his or her country. So I mean all of you are patriotic to your country, Tanzania. So regardless after this definition of patriotism, I said a patriot is a person who loves more his or her country. Patriot is a person who loves and defend his or her country. And uh, according as, as, as the heading states, there is principles. These principles are like guidelines or laws or rules that we have to follow as we are showing patriotism to our country. Today you are going to see one principle. There are so many like a uh, there is promoting the Tanzanian culture, that means our country. There is collaborating in performing different activities, following the rules of the country. But today we are going to see first the principle, this one which is promoting, promoting Tanzanian culture. Promoting Tanzanian culture. But remember, we said we show this patriotism in the society. Society, small group of different people with the same language and the same interest. So, starting with this, promoting the Tanzanian culture. We promote Tanzanian to show the patriotism we have to our countries. First, we have to know what is it. Culture. You have to know what is it? Culture. So, suddenly, I think culture is the first time to hear it. So, culture is the total way of people's life in a given area or in a particular society. When you see society here, sometimes in social studies we mean tribes. That's why you say that every society has its own culture. This culture differs from one society to another. So we say culture, we need to see first culture. You know what is culture? I say culture is the total way of people's life 
in a given area. This is the culture. As we said, the culture differs from one in society to another. Total way of life of people in a particular or in a given area. This will include the way of behaving in the society, the way of acting in the society, the way of communicating in the society, the way of dressing in the society, as well as the way of doing things or entertaining yourselves in the society. By doing so, this culture has different elements which make it, and those elements are known as the elements of culture. We call them elements of who? culture. Elements of culture. These elements of culture are parts of culture to which people differ from one society to another. Example one. We have custom and tradition. Custom and traditions. Also, we have arts and literature. Also, we have language and we have religion. These are few elements you mentioned of culture. There are others that you will see them in the next year for class. But here we let's focus on these. When you speak about customs and the tradition, customs and the traditions. Is that spoken? Uh, is that saying? Every society has its own culture. If this culture and tradition differs from one society to another, starting with customs and uh, traditions. These are two words, but they go together when explaining, explaining. Because customs is the accepted way of doing things in the society. Accepted way of doing things or living in the society. That is custom. If we start the custom, custom are accepted ways. Of behaving or doing things or doing things in a, the society. This is the custom. Example of things that shows customs include say example here. We have greeting styles, greetings and greeting styles. There is also dressing styles. And uh, there is also eating styles. Eating styles and the food eaten. When we say eating style, you say food. The food can also enter to traditions. Is it say traditions? Tradition, you say, is an inherited beliefs transmitted flow. from one generation to another. This is tradition inherited. Because this tradition is inherited from one, one generation to another. Example, then we say language. 
If we say example, there is language, there is also pro, there is one, there is also food eaten by a particular society. Turning back to this custom example, we come to greeting styles. Greeting styles. I think every one of you is from different society. When you say society, you say, you say tribes. And each tribe or society has its own way of greeting, traditionally. So, these greeting styles differ. There are some, in some society, people greet by bending or bowing their body when they are greeting, especially that in girls, you can see when a girl is greeting the one who is older than her, you find that she will bend as greeting, but to some societies you find the greeting is done by kneeling down. For instance, in the FIFA society. When a young in the FIFA society, young girl or young lady meets with an old one, she is supposed to kneel down until the greetings is over. That is perfect greeting. But there are other greetings in some society, for example, if you say in the Hairy society, you find it, you find the greeting is done by kissing the, this upper part of the hand. One thing is this end until he or she is satisfied. So that is the type of greeting. So we say this is custom. There is interesting style. I think, or oh, I'm sure everyone of you, when you see a Maasai dress, you will know that this is Maasai. Even if no one has told you this is Maasai, you will know because of their way of dressing. That is the custom. There is also eating style. Eating style goes hand in hand with the food eaten. Which food is eaten? How to eat that food? So this food can be, that's why I said the traditional custom, they go together. Some societies have different types of food, which is based only to their society or their tribes. For instance, for the people from Kilimanjaro, they have the special drink which traditionally is called Mege. That is part of also tradition. There is a language. If you go to tradition, there is a language. In our country, the language which we use in communicating is Kiswahili. So Kiswahili is one of the culture of our country. So that's why we have to be proud of it and speak it out in order to promote it. So that is one of the important things to do for our country. That means to show that we are patriotic to our country. Clothes on. This clothes on is something traditionally is known as the Rubega. But they have there are different kinds of these clothes depending on the society or tribes. Also, I'm just talking about food. When you come to eating style, to some societies in our country, you find that your home or other hosting, you find it. When the food is laid, to some society, children start to eat first. That is the young customs. How to eat? Either young one will start, then the older will eat later. But to some society, you find either first the father starts to eat first. After the father starts to fight, the rest will eat. That is about to the custom and tradition of that society. But not all are in the same, or not all are the same. That's how it is. Let's come to this slide few about these greeting styles that which are commonly used in our society.
different greeting style. Different greeting style performed includes, for example, there is the shaking hands. This is mostly done and the most known in a society that people do shake hands when they are greeting one another. Another, there is waving hands, funny summary. Is it far away from another one? There is the waving, the waving hand is the sign of showing great greetings. Say hi, hi. That is it. the sign of showing greetings. But there is also kneeling down. Kneeling down. And there is also bending. There is another we say different common use in the FIPA also. There is embracing. Embracing which includes the hugging. So these are different meeting style which are very known in your society. Also, we said in the head there is kissing. This performed in the head society. Kissing. But there are other different styles. Although nowadays people have habitual to use other greeting styles, these are known as modern. Some people say hi, hi, and then they pass. Yeah, they find the yeah, push one and another shoulders to show the side of the wish, but that is modern. So, these greeting styles are normally performed in our society. When we come to this dress style, we're going to explain it. Is how people dress, massage dress. Huh? They say the style known as the Rubega. This is a dressing style known as Rubega. But when we come to the tradition, there is language, clothes, worn, and food. Language, we say, is a medium of communication that is used to transfer information from one person to another, or from one society to another. So, we should know how to practice these greetings in our society in, a different, in different times. I hope now, as you are at home, you are practicing this in the morning after the evening, but you normally use it in slide. But to wind up, because the time we shall talk about another part, I would like to give you a homework. Although I know you are at home, I give you a homework to do. This homework you will do it with your parents. How? I know you are at home. Some of you still don't know the the language of their society of their tribe, but you have to practice it with your parents. Question one, parents will have to practice with the way of greeting in the morning, into your tribe. In the evening, into your tribe, and then at the afternoon. That is the homework that you are going to do. If you only come next time, we shall proceed with the lazy part of literature and arts. Thank you for listening to me. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. To wind up, I cannot go without telling you, please take care of this COVID-19 is real and it is. So please stay home and stay safe. God bless you.